Did you ever want to know what this double colon operator in Kotlin does? In the end, we can create a function or class reference with that. So if we have a Lambda function like this, which takes in an argument of type my event, which is just some type of UI event for a specific screen, and then we have a function in our view model, which has the exact same signature. So also an on event function, which takes in an instance of my event. Now, since a Lambda in Kotlin is nothing else than a function reference, so something that contains information about its signature, while this on event function is not a reference by default in code, since it's a real function, we can still use the double colon operator to get this function reference. So since this lambda takes the same amount of parameters and the same type of parameters as this function, we can create this reference like this. The equivalent would be simply creating a new lambda and calling view model that on event with it. Another way to use the double colon operator in Kotlin is to create a class reference, which works exactly like this. I'm sure you've used this way of referring to a class in Kotlin before, and this does nothing else than actually getting the reference to a class, so to the blueprint of what you're instantiating. And with that, we get access to all the important information of that. For example, if that's an abstract class, we get information of the name, if it's a companion object, and similar things.